When you change wheels and tires on a truck, the circumference of the tire may be different, which will change the speedometer, and the tire pressure thresholds might be different, which would affect the TPMS system. Now we can update both of those on this RAM I have behind me. Let's walk through how to do it. Okay, in order to accomplish this on this truck, it's in the BCM, so we'll just scroll down there to BCM. And the first function we'll do is the tire circumference, so we'll go into miscellaneous functions for that. And we see program tire size and axle ratio. So this function is used to update the tire circumference value stored in the BCM after changing the size of the tires on the vehicle. So we'll hit continue. And then it's going to tell us what the current size is. So that must be factory tires, uh, 265 70R18s. This truck now has 33 inch tires on 22 inch wheels. So different circumference. So we'll hit yes, we want to change it. And the option is not listed on here for the actual circumference of the tire. So we'll go into custom size. To program a custom tire size, measure the circumference of the tire in millimeters and enter the value on the next screen. So we already measured it. So we'll hit continue. We'll hit edit. And then we'll come down here and enter in our value, which is 2565. Hit the check mark for OK. Hit the check mark again. Now we didn't change the axles, so we'll, we don't need to enter a new ratio. We'll hit no. And it says tire size was successful. Continue. Now to get to the pressure thresholds, that's under system tests. So we'll go to system tests and update pressure thresholds. It says this procedure will update the tire pressure monitoring system's load inflation pressures stored in the body control module and then the tire pressure monitor if it's present. Use the cold tire inflation pressure for the front and rear tires listed on the tire and loading information label located on the inside driver's door or driver's door jam. In this case, these are aftermarket tires and they have a much higher threshold. So we're going to use what the manufacturer recommends on the tire. Will it continue? It's going to collect some data. Shows us what's currently in there. It's 38 PSI. We'll hit continue. And in this case, the tire says it's a 65 PSI max pressure. So we'll go there. Writes the values. And there we go. Successfully updated the tire pressure threshold values in the BCM and the TPM. Continue. And then it'll show us what the current values are. So there we go. A couple simple steps. If you change your wheels, you can go update the tire size, update the pressure thresholds, and everything should work as designed. We hope you found this clip helpful. Find hundreds of other quick tips and useful training videos right here on the Snap-on Diagnostics YouTube channel.